2024 is the year when streaming quality really gets taken to the next level. There are a lot of brand new things being announced, but for my competitive players, I know you're wondering, how much FPS are you able to get? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here, and we're going to be taking a deep dive into brand new AV1 encoding for your streams. We're going to be taking a look at quality compared to past encoders, as well as seeing how much FPS you get. AV1 streaming is not out yet for Twitch. YouTube actually does allow it already. Kick, they don't care. But we're going to be comparing it against highest quality AV1 versus H.264, X264, as well as QuickSync iGPU encoding. We're going to be seeing what the quality looks like as well as the FPS in two games. Two very popular games on Twitch already. This is a video I've always been interested in. Earlier this year, Twitch announced AV1 encoding that will be coming very soon, as well as a couple other features that will be important, but not really for stream quality at the highest, but maybe for the lower quality um, people who have to turn down the quality from highest source to probably like 720p, 480p. AV1 encoding is available on all brand new GPUs. So if you have an Intel Arc card, you have access to AV1. I actually have been using it for years through Intel Arc. You have it on all 40 series graphics cards. I've been using my 4090 to record AV1 for the past six months. And then AMD 7000 series have access to encode AV1 as well. Looking back, you can go use the 3000 series to decode as well as the 6000 series from AMD. What that means is, like, let's say you have a video on YouTube that's AV1, you can decode it and actually watch it through your GPU. Sadly, though, you will need a pretty modern graphics card to be able to encode and take care and take use of these new settings, though. But still, obviously, this will be looking at the future if anyone's upgrading. This is going to be like settings you can use. What kind of settings did we use? I was Playing the game at 1440p, unlimited FPS, competitive settings in both Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, slash Warzone, and, and Fortnite. This is using a replay so that we could get the exact same scenario every single time. Everything was captured using Cat Frame X. The streams were running at 8000 bitrate, so the highest bitrate you can run, 1080p with optimized settings. Shout out to Zaymar, StreamFX. He he knows how to make streaming streaming quality look good. As well as the PC used is my top of the line 1300K, 4090, max overclocked, 7800 megahertz, 32 gigabyte of RAM. For anyone interested in RAM, I actually did not run out of RAM at all, no matter what streaming settings I was used. If I really was using maybe more ex advanced streaming settings, I could use something like my 48 gigabyte sticks here, which I've used before and run at about 7,600 on this board and CPU combo. Speaking of motherboard, if you want to have access to your integrated graphics, you are going to need, first of all, a K or a KS CPU. Any F SKUs will not have the integrated graphics, so you are missing that. As well as you need to make sure that your motherboard has access to the iGPU. Best way to just know if it does have access to the iGPU, does your motherboard have HDMI or display ports on the back? But I want to start off but I want to start off by looking straight off just at the quality itself because your FPS might be high but if your viewers can't tell what's going on it's not worth it. Using the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 benchmark map we were able to get a pretty good comparison of all the quality. One thing I just want you to know I just want you to take a look at honestly quick sync video doesn't look the best. It's really blocky I noticed even at that 8000 bit rate. It just doesn't have the strength to really keep up. AV1 by far looks the best. It looks the most realistic to me, taking a look at it. If you guys are interested, I actually will leave a link below to this comparison through YouTube. Obviously, there's going to be a little bit of compression through YouTube itself, but hey, we'll take a look. So, what I'm going to say, X264 for right now definitely does look the best, and X264, QuickSync Video is dead. AV1 looks the best overall, but now let's take a look at the FPS. For the benchmark, we're going to start off with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now, this is the benchmark that we're just taking a look at. Took the numbers from there. And one thing that I want you to know about this benchmark, it is very, very GPU heavy. Even a 4090, I'm GPU bound, which is honestly insane. We need a 5090 soon for this game. 
but you're getting about 390 FPS in the averages, 330 in the lows, and 301 in the 0.1%. So you want to become as close as possible, especially in the lows. What comes actually as close to the lows is AV1. AV1 is a little bit different than H.264, I believe, in how the way it encodes and the way the encoder works, taking a little bit less strain off the actual GPU itself. And that's why it actually does perform the best, in my opinion, in this scenario. Next to it is H.2 is x264 slow and quick sync video that which is also h.264 those two run the best h.264 through the gpu actually suffers immensely once again this is a really gpu bound scenario this is why you're going to notice the cpu bound the cpu kind of area really does help and this is because i have a 24 core cpu do have hyperthreading disabled, but I'm having those 16 E cores really kind of take over the CPU encoding processes. You're gonna really notice that if you have like a lower core count CPU or if you have like an AMD CPU which doesn't have the E cores. So like for example, if you had a 700X3D, maybe you'd get lower FPS with X264. I can actually guarantee that you will and you'd wanna use your GPU. But now let's take a look at a really CPU bound title to see more of this example through Fortnite. Fortnite tells us a completely different story. So no OBS, you're getting about 490 FPS, 290 in the lows, and 139 in the 0.1%. For some reason, the 0.1% are actually higher using the GPU scenarios, with AV1 once again kind of coming out ahead. So good job, AV1 here. I really do like AV1 and what it has to offer coming soon. Quick sync video coming in like third place, but I think that QuickSync is kind of known as like a jack of all trades, master of none. You're going to notice that in all scenarios, the FPS is going to be pretty high compared to like what you can get with other stuff. Quality is not going to look the best, and there might be something that outperforms it. It's kind of the way I see QuickSync. I say if you just want one setting to kind of just like, oh, I don't have to worry about this anymore, QuickSync is the way to go. AV1, though, once again, is the quality king. Cannot wait for it to come to Twitch. Definitely signing up for that beta. H.264 um, does pretty good, actually, as well, too. Fortnite doesn't use a lot of your GPU, even when running the game at 1440p and streaming at 1080p. But this is a very heavily CPU title, and look at how much FPS you lose by streaming using the CPU. I was pegged at 100% usage on the CPU when using when in streaming. If I had hyperthreading enabled, would I be able to get higher FPS? Probably, I can actually guarantee you that, but then also, hyper-threading, in my opinion, really isn't that worth it if you're just gaming, especially when you have other options that'll definitely get you higher FPS than X264 with hyper-threading on. Well, looking at how amazing it looks and how great it performs in both games, I'm very excited for AV1. Definitely something to look forward to, especially if you are a streamer. What I'd recommend for a streamer, get a card that supports AV1. If you're someone who uses dual PCs, get something like an ARC A380 and just throw it in there compared to whatever GPU you have in now. I've done this before. My videos from like middle of 2020, from the end of 2022 to the middle of 2023 were all using an ARC A380. A $100 GPU literally getting the highest quality possible on YouTube. So I'll leave links down below to some great GPUs that I would recommend. The 4090, obviously, if you're just a high-tier gamer. The 4080 Super, 4070 Ti Super. If you're someone who just wants an AV1 card, the ARC A380, you can slot in, honestly, with your current GPU. Get that working as well. If you like the content, though, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you feel like supporting me, which honestly is amazing. It allows me to buy a lot more things for the channel, which you'll see coming soon. You can support me using the Discord down below. You can also get my PC optimization service which will max out your FPS as well as supporting me in the channel. But I will see everyone later. Peace.